Hi, I'm Mark, and today I'm going to be talking to Mr. Henry Mosh. He's a real pioneer in his field, advancing the way we perform brain surgery. The brain contains some of the greatest mysteries in the world. How does this lump of jelly allow us to string together complicated thoughts or help us remember distant memories? We're here at St. George's Hospital, and when Mr. Marsh walks around the hallways, everyone knows his name. Hi, Mr. Marsh. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about what you do and how you do it? Well, I'm a brain surgeon, so in simple terms, it means I cut openings in people's heads and then mess about with their brains a bit. When, when you're... When you think of the brain, it's it's like a sponge, yeah, and it absorbs thoughts. It is thoughts. It yeah. is thoughts. But yeah, it's something that just controls your whole body, which I find is quite amazing. It is extraordinary, but it's not just controlling your body. It is you as well. That's what's so extraordinary. We are our brains. When when you're operating in the brain, you're using uh, medical equipment, mm. and if you make one wrong move, surely you'll uh, cause paralysis. Yes, you, yeah, you can. It, but it does require very careful decision making because it, when I look back at my career, most of the worst mistakes, they were not because I sort of my hand slipped or something like that. It was just I'd made the wrong decision. About too much. To either to take out too much or I shouldn't have operated in the first place or I should have operated more quickly than I did. So because it's very dangerous, the decision making is incredibly important. Huh? It's the spine neurosurgery is surgery to the spine as well as to the brain, it's not just brain surgery. Yeah. Although most of the stuff I can. Hello, we just got a bit of filming. Well, look, Marius, hi. So this young chap, Mark, has been interviewing me for a TV program. I've always Hello. liked to be a brain surgeon. Oh, look, that's another surgeon. He's bonkers. Meet Mark. He was Hello, Mark. interviewing Hello. me. Don't get any pressing secrets out of him. No, he... Do you find it hard to uh, talk to your patients if you know that you can't help them? Yes, it's very difficult. I mean, in effect, you're having to say to somebody, go away and die, and, and they don't like that. And I don't like that. I sometimes end up operating when really I shouldn't, but I do it because me and the patient can't quite face reality. I saw a documentary on uh, how, how you operate, yeah. and it occurred to me that you keep your patients awake while doing well, it. Well, some I do, yes, because you see, the brain doesn't feel pain. So all you have to do if you want to operate with a patient awake is put local anaesthetic, just just as it, have you had a local anaesthetic shot in your gun? I had a filling. So we put local anaesthetic in, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Was it horrible? It was horrid. Mm, right. Well, anyway, <laughs> so I tell my patients, there's no worse than going to the dentist. Let's put local anaesthetic in the skin. And then it doesn't hurt. But some bits of the brain, if they're damaged, cannot repair. Another bit, you can damage the brain a bit, and actually it's all right. And just looking at the brain doesn't tell you what you can damage and what you can't, because it all looks the same. So if you have the patient awake, if you get the patient to do things while you're operating, you can get early warning if you're going to cause any damage. When you do the operations, how long do they last? That's very variable. The shortest operation takes about an hour, and some operations can take, depends a bit on the speed of the surgeon, it can take 12 or 12 or even 18 hours. When you're in an operation, an eight hour operation, yeah. do you go to pee? Well, as you get older you do, because most older men have problems with their prostates. But, um, you know, it's something you have to get used to it. What advice do you uh, give to kids trying to know about neurosurgeons? Um, drill a killer, you know, kids like bloody stories. I was brought up on Grimm's fairy stories, um, which are very bloody. But, no, in terms of neurosurgery, I, I don't know. But I'd, I'd like to try to convey some of my deep enthusiasm and love of the brain and sense of mystery about the brain. It's like, you know, like looking at the starry sky at night, which builds us with a sense of awe and mystery. And the extraordinary fact is we actually, each of us within our own head, have a, have a mystery, an awe-inspiring mystery as great as the universe. In general, what advice uh, would you give to kids? Read lots of books and learn a foreign language. Thank you. Um, OK, no, so I've enjoyed that. It was good. good fun. OK. Wow, that was cool. I hope you enjoyed meeting Mr. Henry Marsh and the brains behind him. To find out more, check out his book, Do No Harm. See you next time.